All right, man. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, baby. Episode 109. Episode 109. Hanging with B-Drop Podcast. How we feeling? I apologize for the last two weeks for not making an episode, but it's been pretty busy on this side. All right. But we have some catching up to do. Um, the last episode, you know, we spoke about the mental praise event and all that good stuff. So got to get you guys an update and all that. And yeah, man, you know, the last two weeks, cool stuff has been cracking. Um, you know, we in summertime. Well, I don't know if it officially we in summertime, but it feels like we in summertime. It's like 98 degrees today. It's hot, you know, so we in LA. So it's, it's, it's beaming out here. All right. So, um, let's, let's just get into it. You know, I, I try not to keep it, you know, super long. I try to keep it nice and short so you guys can listen to it while you guys commute or while you guys are chilling. But I appreciate you guys listening. I always appreciate you guys showing love. I always appreciate, you know, just all the good energy, man. You guys, great energy gives me great energy and it's just, you know, energizer bunny all day. All right. So two weeks ago, the last episode, we spoke about the mental praise event and we still trying to get it locked in. We're trying to get the date. But um, shout out to my guy, Milo. So I've been tr- I'm trying to do the event with a good friend of mine, Milo. And, you know, we already spoke. We actually met up and I let him know kind of what my vision was for the event. And he's all for it. And um, right now it's just getting the date and the location um we're we're in the process of all that so please be patient but i'm really really um excited for it because even though you know originally i was planning and hoping for the end of june um it might not be a realistic option for now but i'm hoping maybe by like july ish we could get something figured out and i'm really trying to get um some some mental praise uh, t-shirts as well. So I'm in the process of that, trying to figure that out, the design and all that good stuff. But, you know, all that takes time and try to make sure we use the creativity in the best way we can. So, um, yeah, so we're going to have the mental praise event. Let's not get it twisted. You know, I want to make sure we have a mental praise workout event, make sure that we all, you know, get a good workout in. So once I get the full details on that, once I get a date locked in, you already know I'm going to share with y'all and hopefully, you know, you guys can spread the word and, you know, I could I would appreciate any support you guys pulling up. Obviously, is the is the main thing, and you guys get a good workout in. All right, so yeah, that's what that's going on with the mental praise event. So I'm gonna keep you guys uh, updated with that. And yeah, so I'm recording it on Monday, and yesterday was Father's Day. So Father's Day is a beautiful, beautiful day. You know, and I appreciate everybody that texted me and showed love and told me Happy Father's Day, man, because. Like I always say, being a father is the most important, most beautiful, most just everything. I can't even explain it because it's it's an amazing feeling to be a father. It's amazing to, you know, be a dad to the best kid in the world who, like I always say as well, who drives me crazy, who is literally like me, but you just put it into like, and he's not even, I mean, he's pretty tall, but like you just put it into like a baby form. He's still my baby until I, you know, it's forever. But he's like you know, like, just like me, but even funnier, and he's going to be way taller than me, and he's going to be way more handsome than me, and that's a tall task, because, I mean, I see myself in the mirror, and I'm like, damn, um, but anyways, um, it was Father's Day, and it it was a beautiful day, man, and I really want to give a huge, huge shout out to every father, man, you know, and, you know, whether you, like, I, I made a video on my gram, on my Instagram, that it's like, even if you're a single dad, even if you're, you know, a dad who thinks you don't have it all figured out, or at some time you feel that you weren't a good dad, just happy Father's Day. You know what I mean? Because, you know, nobody teaches us how to be parents. You know what I mean? At least for me, I'm, I'm you know, it's my first son. So, you know, I'm learning as I go, you know, as research and podcasts and asking other parents. So I always want to give a huge shout out to every dad that I know because they pass on that wisdom to me. You know, I, I could hopefully implement that into, you know, how I am as a father. You know, I remember even one time, shout out to my guy, Vin, you know, we had him on the on the podcast too, where he was teaching me a trick on like, oh, how to make my son catch, you know, and he was telling me like, hey, throw it at a specific spot and keep throwing it at that spot. And that would like mentally, you know, prepare him for the ball. And I actually tried and it actually worked. So that's what I'm saying is little stuff like that. So I'm always very thankful of some of my friends that are fathers that give me good wisdom and that hopefully me, myself, I could, you know, help you as a father too you know because i i will never ever have it all figured out but you know maybe sometimes some things that i do some tools could help you become a better father or 
Maybe you're a father figure to somebody, you know, whether you're a big brother or a cousin or a tío. Hopefully, the way you see me parent, you know, I could inspire you to be a good pops. You know what I mean? And I'm always trying. You know, I make a lot of errors. I have to say sorry a lot of times because, you know, I'm not the I'm not I'm not perfect. I'm human. You know, so we just learn as we go. So once again, I want to give a huge shout out to every dad, everybody that show love, you know, happy Father's Day. It's a beautiful day. Allow yourself to be celebrated. That's that. I know the NBA finals happened. I said on the podcast, I said it. I said, Warriors, we're going to win it. It was a good series. You know, Celtics, they they um, they got that defense, though, man. They they were putting up a fight and, you know, but Curry, he just had an amazing performance. I think it was game four where he just he just went off he had like over he had like over 40 points and yeah man curry's a special player you know i really like watching curry play you know don't get it twisted i'm a laker fan but me seeing a player that i like if there's a player that i i like to watch <clears throat> it's steph curry you know because he's just a, he's just a special player like it reminds me back in my day when i used to drop like 50 points <clears throat> on my rec league you know what i mean when i used to be on basketball you know i used to just just shoot like like nine. <clears throat> then I woke up. Nah, but <laughs> nah, I like Steph Curry a lot, man. He's he's a great player, and it was a good NBA Finals. You know, I know right now the off is gonna be crazy. You know, I'm interested to see what you know what moves every team makes. Um, it's it, it's so crazy to see that dynasty they build over there, man. You know what I mean? I remember. I mean, they've been what in the finals five times. You know, in the past. I mean, I don't even know the exact time, but I just know that it's like literally every finals they're there. So it's crazy, man. But I'm excited to see what what's gonna happen with Lakers. I'm excited to see you know all the off season moves. Uh, hopefully, you guys check that out because it was good basketball. And yeah, man. In June is National Men's Health Month. You know, I know in uh, some previous episodes, you know, I I've spoken about you know mental health, and I'm always gonna continue to speak about mental health because you know it's super important. You go, you guys know I have my mental praise platform, and it is a goal of mine to you know advocate for us to speak on mental health to you know us to really promote you know the fact that we have to be there for e- for each other you know and i think mental health is super important it's super it's super helpful we all go through it we all go through situations and i know even speak you know it's crazy because when i started doing mental praise you know i've had certain people that i've talked to that i've had conversations with and they like what I'm doing. And I'm like, man, that's dope. You know what I mean? I've, I've even had good conversations with homies that are like, yo, man, I, I've been going through this, going through that. And I'm just so, you know, I'm just so happy that, you know, we're just in the beginning stages of mental praise, you know, talking about it. And I'm trying to get better into the way I communicate about it and what I could do to help man, to help myself, to help myself get more immersed in the space so that hopefully, you know, we could just help people and we could have, you know, these guys just speak on stuff, you know, and for me, I've been feeling so much better as I go through my therapy sessions. And, you know, that was a great decision of mine. So me talking about these things is is a way for me to be like, man, like we are we all get stuck. We all go through things. We're all just trying to figure life out. We don't have all the answers, but it's the the process of finding the answers, the process of being in peace. And I think that's super important. You know, I'm, I'm imperfect up to the max. And there's things that I struggle with. And I think that, you know, it, it's something that I'm always trying to figure out how we could better ourselves, right? And hopefully, with my mental praise, with my mental praise platform, I'm, I'm able to just, you know, have people check in, have people understand, and hopefully I could be there for you, man. I always say, if there's someone you want to talk to, someone you just want to chop it up with, I'm here. You know, I'm, I, I, I'm a talker. You know what I'm saying? I love talking. I need to know, you know, when to stop talking. But <laughs> that's me. So, yeah, man, important month. And, you know, reach out to to your homie, reach out to your friend, because you might not know it, but sometimes people are hoping that you reach out to them, but they don't know how to express that they want you to reach out to them, because I've been in that position before, too. So I advocate that hopefully you guys reach out to somebody, and, you know, Father's Day was a perfect time to be like, hey, man, so even if right now you, you didn't reach out to nobody for Father's Day, reach out and just be like, hey, man, you know, obviously you're a pop's. You know, just reaching out, hopefully you're doing good, and you'll be surprised how much that means for a lot of people. So one thing I want to talk about before I get out of here is that I made it a point to post every day, every day, Monday through Friday, my workout videos, all right? So you guys saw it. You guys were probably like, B, you posted every day of you working out. What's going on? You know, so I started working out a while back, and for me, I was like, you know what? 
How can I keep myself accountable? And how can I inspire other people to be like, yo, I got to work out. And whether it's working out for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, it does not matter. It's just the point of you moving. There was a lot of times where I was only able to get 20 minutes in, 15 minutes in, an hour in. It just varies. You know what I mean? Like we all have different type of lifestyles, you know, but I made it a point to get a workout in. You know what I mean? Regardless. And whether I went up on weight, you know, stay stagnant on my weight, you know, reduce, whatever. I just kept it consistent of working out. That was the point. And I know for a fact, look, let's be real. Me posting every day in my workout videos, like it wasn't going to be ideal for all the algorithm, you know, social media stuff. Like I, I knew it, but I did it so that you guys could also be like, man, like B did it every day for a year, Monday through Friday, whether it was Thanksgiving, it was freaking cold, my hands got super ashy, I didn't care, like it was super hot, I'm over here getting mosquito bites, it didn't matter, and I did it because how many times can we tell ourselves, oh, it's too hot, or, oh man, I already took a shot, whatever, we find ourselves in so many you know, we know how to talk, talk ourselves out of the situation rather than talk ourselves into a situation that we know is better for for us. You know, I know I'm, a lot of times, look, I did not want to work out every day. Like, let's be real. Like, yeah, you guys saw me over here doing my workouts, but it was a lot of those times where I wasn't, I didn't even want to record. I was just like, damn, like, I am tired. I, I'm lazy, whatever. I didn't want to work out every time, but it's bigger than, than just how I felt, you know, you had to be aware of your emotions and be like, this is bigger. Like this is for my health. This is so that I could keep myself accountable. And that's not that I like, let's be real. Like my nutrition isn't a hundred, like I'm eating beautifully every day. Like there's times where I'm like, man, I got to be better with my, with my nutrition. Like, yeah, I could work out every day, but if I eat basura every day, it's, I mean, it's, I'm not doing myself anything, but as long as I kept my consistency in my workouts, it allowed me to also be like, you know what, like, hey, maybe I shouldn't have that extra donut. Maybe I shouldn't have that. Like, you know what I mean? Because I'm like, damn, like, I got to wake up early. I got to, you know, I got to work out and I'm going to mess that up for this slice of pizza. <clears throat> maybe Costco pizza. That You can't pass out Costco pizza, pizza. Just put a little napkins on the top. But you know what I mean? Like, so I did that because I was, I remember when I was recording the videos, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it for a month. Hey, I'm gonna do it for two months. I'm gonna do it for half a year. Uh, it's not doing anything. Like people probably don't even like. They don't. They're just like they're over it. And I'm sure people got over it because I myself got over it too. But, <laughs> but I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna do it for a year. And you know, I've had conversation with with a few people, and they're like, yo, bro, like I'm seeing you work out, and I was like, dope. That's 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 what it's all about. Like, yo, I see you working out, and I didn't want to work out, but since I see you doing it, I'm gonna work out. And that's what the whole point of this is you know what i mean that's what social media that's what all this is about is for us to be there for each other to help each other out you know what i mean whether it's financially advice whether it's health wise whether it's just being a friend that's what i feel like us as a community as a, as as a society we got to do we just got to help each other out man you know what i mean and it was i wasn't saying nothing in those videos i was just working out happy monday good morning like what's good get that workout on let's get that workout in you know that's all i did is so I'm very proud of it because, you know, there was a lot of times where I didn't want to work out, y'all. Like, I'm being dead ass. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was be I'm being dead ass. Like, there was a lot of times I did not want to work out. Like, I just didn't want to do it. It's too cold. It was hot. I mean, it's hot. it was hot this week. You get what I'm saying? But I did it because it holds myself accountable. You have to be consistent. In order to do anything, You you have to do it when you don't want to do it. You know what I mean? How many times can your body do more, but your mind's telling you, like, no, you can't do it. And then you push yourself, and then you realize you could do an extra rep. You could do an extra set. You can't, but your mindset got to be strong. Your mindset has to be, like, you got to be relentless. And there's times where I didn't want to work out. Like, I'm being serious. Like, there's a lot of times I record those videos, and I only was able to get 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And I'm like, damn, I didn't get a full workout. But I got a workout in regardless, whether it was hit training, bench, weights, whatever, jump rope. Like that shit was that shit sucked a lot. And and that's one thing I want to make clear. Like working out, like I love working out. Don't get don't get me wrong. But there's times I didn't want to work out. Like let's just be real. Like I'm human, bro. Like we we it's just you didn't want to do it. But it had to be done. It takes what it takes. All right. So hopefully 
you know, if you are not aware of my videos, go check out IG. I'm pretty sure literally every post was, <laughs> was me working out. But I did that. And, you know, yeah, I mean, enough of that. You know, I just it, it was just it was um something that I'm proud of for doing it for a year. And, yeah, I'm not po I'm still working out. Don't get me wrong. I'm not posting about it. But, you know, I, I hope that that's able for you guys to just be like, all right, like I could work out whether it's 10, 20 minutes, whatever. I'm going to get it in. All right. So I appreciate you guys listening to the podcast. I appreciate you guys supporting me always. And, you know, I just want to wish you guys a beautiful day, evening. I never know when you guys are listening. So I just want I just want to kind of cover all time zones. I'm just going to say I hope you have been, you know, what can I say? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing great. Much love. Hang with Beach Drop Podcast, episode 109. Have a good one, all right? Peace.